Hi and welcome to Toya Creates. My name is Toya Edit. In today's video, we'll be talking about true type fonts and open type fonts, what the differences are, and how you can take advantage of the hidden features in um, the open type fonts. Now let's dive in. What is true type? True type is an outlined font standard developed by Apple in the late 80s as a competitor to Adobe's True Earth Type 1 fonts used in PostScript. The primary strength of TrueType was that it offered font developers a high degree of control over precisely how their fonts are displayed. To ensure its wide adoption, Apple licensed TrueType to Microsoft for free. Now, the purpose of TrueType was simple. They needed a format that both Windows and Mac could use natively, as well as a format that could be read by default by most printers. What is an open type font? Open type font was also a joint effort, but this time around between Adobe and Microsoft. The beauty of open type uh, fonts is that it is cross platform. That means a single font file can be used both on the Mac and the Windows. Now, the major difference, the major useful difference uh, to us as designers between open type fonts and true type fonts is in the advanced typesetting features. Open type fonts, they feature embellishments like ligatures, glyphs, small clap caps, um, alternate characters, old style features, and these exist to give designers more options to work with. That being said, I'm going to show you um, a demonstration on how uh, you can take advantage of the hidden features in open type fonts. Here in InDesign, I have three fonts that I'll use for this demonstration. The first one is called Desire. The second font is called uh, Airy Roman Pro and the third font is called Adobe Garmon Pro. So let's um, just go into the first one. So if we see this font is selected, I've typed it out. Assuming this is going to be a title of a book or maybe you just want to have a treatment for a headline in a publication or whatever. If, if you look at this, this is just the normal font. But in InDesign, I can just come to Glyphs and I will have access to um, the entire font and all the hidden features. If you don't see this on your system, you just go to Window, Type and Tables and click on Glyph, then you will have this panel coming up. If I select, see this letter, I can come up to this point and check the open type features that are available. Any feature that is available is shown without the brackets but the ones with the brackets is not available for this particular font meaning that it's not every open type fonts that have access to all the um the hidden features but a lot of them will have access to some of the hidden features while some have just a limited set so in this case we see that the the uh, options available are discretionally uh, ligatures and uh, let's see okay we have set one uh, stylistic set one two and three are available uh let's let's just dive in so on the um glyphs panel i'll select the b once i select the b i go to this drop down and choose alternate for selection once i do that i see that i have all my selections uh, all my alternates for the letter b let me increase this by clicking this so you see, you see already we have some features which uh, ordinarily you will not see in the font directly. So I can just double click and you see already this looks so beautiful. This is already uh, nicely embellished. So I can select the L also. We see that we have that. I can select the I. You know, you can just take it out and play and just um, explore and see what you come up with. So this is quite interesting you see it looks very beautiful you can try out the different letters and see what uh, you come up with before we go on i just want to show you how you can identify which font is open type or true type so i, I could just what i would do is that i'll go to my um, 
font selection uh, panel. Once you look closely, you see that this font with the O indicates that these are open type fonts, while the TT indicates that these are true type fonts. And one thing you will notice is that most fonts who uh, that were created uh, a few years back, which were just true types, most have been converted and conversions are still going on. They are being converted to uh, the open type format. All right, so we, we go on to the next uh, font with the Arial Roman Pro. We select the N and we see that we have uh, the options. So we can just click on this font on the on the glyphs panel and we see that we have a style, you know, an alternate on the end. Let me click on do. So in a situation where I would like to style this, make it look different, I'll just select the end, pick this. I'll go to the A. We see that we have quite a number of options. I could go for this and uh, I could try out the U also and see if I could add anything. If I do this, and you see already the hidden features you have so much flexibility and you can play ar ar around and you know see what exactly you can you know use to uh, create different stylistic font um, treatments all right so let's look at the last font which is the adobe garamond pro so i'll select the r and you see that we have one of the styles alternate styles or selection but in this case let me just pick the t and if you look closely you notice that the, the, the second t has a thinner you know uh, thinner uh, bar on top of the t so once i pick that it gives me something slightly different i go to the e gives me something different i try the a and so on so basically what i will encourage you is that once you try out the different fonts you just check it out and see um what uh, you can come up with from the different uh, open type fonts i hope this uh, video was helpful in some way don't forget to share like and subscribe because every week i bring you new videos and before you go um i'll have uh, the links in the description where you can find these fonts all right so see you in the next video take care bye